this is the funny thing about Discord. I don't know if uh, if it's actually silent or if Cooper's talking, but I just can't hear him. I was just going to say that in the chat. You can hear me, right? I can, yeah. Right. It's amazing after like 30 years of doing this. That, uh, this is still, a thing. still figuring it out. Not very nice of Discord to rug Cooper after after all he's given to Discord over the years. Yeah, he's done so much. Can you all hear me? Yes, indeed. Yes. Amazing. We are so back. All right, can the audience hear? Fantastic. Looks like we're getting yeses. Um, I was just waxing poetic about the, the neck and neck finish we had in Quiz House today. Uh, the only thing I've seen closer this week was the finish at the PGA, but it was a, a great win for Llama, edging out our, our champion uh, in residence, MTS Linus. Great game. Love it. But how about Xander? And thanks, Tungsten, for a great Xander-themed uh, quiz house. We learned some, so many things about Mr. Shoffley. It's an eventful week in golf, for sure. I think it made me feel really bad about how much I've never really liked Sander and just watching his emotions upon winning and just knowing how much shit he's gotten for not being able to win the big one. I, I think there were like two people that most, at least just from looking on Twitter that most people have left thinking about pretty differently. One is definitely Xander. And then obviously Bryson with like the full 180 and now the entire golf world behind him. I saw a tweet that said, how funny is it going to be that Bryson left, got paid millions to go to live. And then now is like every PGA fan is rooting for him. Like classes will be taught on this subject in the future. But uh, it was a great weekend. What did y'all think? I was just uh, reflecting about how much had happened since the last community call. Can you imagine it was just a week ago that, you know, we, we didn't know that uh, the number one player in the world was going to get arrested and you know, charged with a felony and then be off for his, his second round of a major all in like a three hour span. Little did we know. Last one Thursday. of the, the greatest days in internet history for golf memes, at least for golf, right? Like that... <laughs> the scroll on Friday and Saturday was so joyful with all of the yeah. content coming out. Yeah, I was trying to think, what are the top, we don't have to list them because we're all unprepared to answer this, but I, I'd be curious what people think of the top five days in Twitter history. Uh, the Will Smith slap uh, is, I think, in my top five. And I, I don't know if there's, I don't know if there's four other ones better than last week with the Scotty stuff. It was in my. It was. It's definitely my top. You know, it was a different, I think, mood. But when uh, the live announcements came out, and you know the merger and everything, just for in, in terms of golf, uh, the amount of of reactions and, and just confusion that everybody just kind of cut, taking to Twitter to discuss it, I think that was a pretty pretty solid, at least solid one, at least in the golf lens. Yeah, it would have been young days for Twitter, but it'd be interesting to go back and look at the Tiger car crash. That was, uh, I mean, that, that was wild in the moment, of course, but uh, I don't know if Twitter was used as much for news breaking back then. It was, it was still in, like, post a picture of what you're eating for lunch days. But, uh, <laughs> but We're still in know, those days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. But that would have been a big one for sure if it happened, you know, this day and age. Yeah. Well, in honor of uh, Scotty, Scotty getting arrested, uh, you may have seen on Twitter if you have it. Um, we have one pair left of pants in the Pro Shop for sale if you use code yeah, they're, Free Scotty. They're they're fully sold out now. The, the yeah, size forty is gone. <laughs> All right, we are we yeah. are fully the, sold the out. Free, <laughs> the Free Scotty discount is. Uh, has rocked the joggers from the pro shop. Wow. Well, that's great news, uh, but we're not done. We didn't stop there. All pullovers, uh, in case you get pulled over, are also on sale in the pro shop. Use code pullover to get, what is it, Chris, 40% off 
all pullovers in the shop, including the Sullivans, it's a great deal. 40% off, you know, this, this, an event like this happens once in a lifetime. Why not give it once in a lifetime? Just go. <laughs> I love it. Just the footage today of coming out. I just can't believe they're not immediately dropping the charges. Like, it, it, Scotty didn't drive fast. He stopped immediately. Like, I just don't, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I opened Twitter midday, and I think it was literally like six, six straight posts of accounts posting that video and saying something. <laughs> it's wild. Nuts. That's really nuts. Well, um, across the pond, uh, I think our friends are asleep over there at this time, but our fellow Lynx members are resting up for the spring meeting starting tomorrow. Folks are already on the ground. Epoxy got some, Epoxy got some custom shoes made. Um, there are hidden gems on the course, Chris. So, so what's what's going on tomorrow? Do you have some idea? Have you heard any rumblings from Bert or others over there? I don't know. I just saw the Twitter post uh, or the X post. It uh, sounds like there is a surprise on the course somewhere. Uh, somewhere at the far end of the course for the event attendees to figure out what the deal is. So I don't know. We'll have to, uh, everybody that's across the pond or, you know, at, at Spay, um, they'll have to share the news if they find anything interesting. That would be awesome. Love to hear that. Um, so that's underway right now. We've got some, we'll get some footage and some updates from that tomorrow. Looking forward to that. But if you're excited uh, to get out to Spay Bay this summer, there's the link. Uh, event registration is open for the summer solstice. And that's less than a month away. We've got the member guests. We've got their, um, what else, the Ryder Cup coming up. So some awesome stuff uh, available on the agenda for, for Spay Bay. Really looking forward to it. And Chris, you're going to be out there. Uh, we're going to be out there less than a month, huh? Yeah. it's Can't wait. Uh can't wait till june for this event i think it's gonna be amazing um i did want to say we you know we've had a bunch of people sign up but if you're still thinking about it you know get get in and sign up soon we did also um so the the itinerary is you know we're doing the actual solstice which is like maximum sunlight you can play probably 100 holes if you want to then we're competition over the weekend we're doing the dinner at the highland or the highland dinner at gordon castle that weekend so the the agenda is going to be packed but we've also gotten a few people asking questions about well you know if i'm what if i don't want to do the full itinerary i've got golf scheduled elsewhere you know can i just join the dinner and and some of the rounds or you know how does that work um and so that if that is the situation i mean definitely reach out because we've been able to kind of uh work with folks and and bert at uh at spay bay has obviously been helping out people left and right uh book book tea times at all the amazing courses around that we have relationships with and and getting deals and all that good stuff so if you do have any questions about that reach out reach out to bert um and we'll figure figure stuff out but i think we're gonna have an awesome group crew over there uh we've got an awesome crew over there for the event this weekend so it's gonna be some awesome stuff cannot wait for a month from now it's gonna be amazing Just want to ask uh, you know, everyone in the audience, but also you guys up here on stage. How many holes of golf do you think you could play on the longest day of the year? Like, like feasibly, physically, it's marathon, you know, qua- quantity golf. Like, when do you give up? So, meaning, like, what would be what would be possible to do within the constraint of sunlight? I assume. Yeah, like when you can't see the ball anymore. So you're assuming you could play sun up to sundown physically and it would be you you would be taken out by visibility i think i could do 100 plus i would i would set the over under at 100 and a half and i would do over chris what do you think got impressive hacks typing i think i think 75 would be would be a lot it, you know, I'm talking walking and golf course, right? Not not cart, walking around, carrying my clothes or a push cart. I think 75 holes. Yeah, 
A hundred is a lot. That, that's very aggressive, Mr. Senior. Setting the line there and saying you're going to hit the over. That's like, that's solid. That's solid. I mean, they do. Yeah, that's a good point. They do the hundred hundred hole hike. That yep. is a thing. People get it done. Um, and you do have maximum sunlight. It's Bay Bay. But uh, yeah, that's furious. I'm pretty confident I could do this. I've done, I mean, I say this because I've done uh, 60 plus at Sweden's, and that is not with a full day. That was like sunset at six and starting at nine. So I feel like with the longer time, I'm not really worried about, and I assume, Coop, it doesn't matter what you score, right? I guess one question do you, you have to finish, like, you have to hit every cup? Would be yeah, like the gotta, only. You got to putt out, but it doesn't, you know, that's another question, is, right? If you don't care at all about how you score, you just go whack the ball around. Yeah. Does that change how many holes you can play? If you're trying to. No, it just makes me more well. confident, man. It makes me more confident, man. Okay. Yeah. Are, are we going to find out? Are you going to play 100 holes on the solstice? If y'all let me, I'll do it. I won't stop you. Let's 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 find out. We gotta we gotta make some some wagers here. We gotta figure out the odds. We gotta get prizes for the most holes played. I think it's gonna be uh, a, a large number. Nevertheless, um, back to stateside golf. Uh, we have some spots left available for the signature event series. Um, in Wave Two, we released spots for Hollywood Kingsley Club and Philly Cricket. There are a couple spots left at each of those. And correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Bruce, we are opening more spots for Bayonne. Uh, two more spots opening tomorrow. Is that correct? We had some, uh, some date changing or cancellations. So uh, if you were interested in grabbing a spot at Bayonne, uh, you may be in luck. Yeah, and we'll, we'll shoot out an announcement, but um, it actually the the folks at Bayonne are doing uh it turns out they had to move their greens renovations for this winter and they moved it up to late October. So the event date got moved up slightly. It's now October 15th. Uh a couple of folks that had had um gotten spots at the event now can no longer make it. So there will be uh just a uh, handful of spots opening up. Um We'll open them tomorrow at noon, uh, and we'll, we'll get an announcement out about this. But we know a lot of people um, were really trying to get into the Bayonne event, sold out very quickly. So there are a couple now available um, that that we'll be releasing tomorrow at noon. Uh, so if that if you were one of those folks that was trying to get in and didn't, uh, just be ready tomorrow. Uh, it's, it'll be at the same same site that we've linked before uh, to to purchase the spots. Um, but you'll get a second chance of that if you miss out the first time around. Killer. Looking forward to that. Signature events are always a great time out there. Um, do we have any course U.S. course status updates on the, the progress there? I know we're going to have some more updates coming later this month, perhaps to a Twitter spaces on Spay Bay, but I know folks in, in chat this week were also eager for updates on uh, Southeast versus Midwest. Yeah, the the most I can say on this call is uh, there is a lot of stuff happening. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that. So stay tuned. We we, we will have more news soon. Um, but there's been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. So excited excited to share more as soon as we can. Excellent stuff. Uh, love to hear that there's velocity happening. Before we jump into the Wheel of Names for Lynx Leagues, uh, I did want to invite Tungsten up on stage. We have a proposal coming out. We're going to go to RFC this weekend uh, about the Spay Bay memorabilia. Tungsten, if you want to raise your hand, come up on stage, give us a brief overview of uh, this proposal, what it means, where we're going. I'm going to drop it in members' chat, and we can go over from there, and we'll get it up in Commonwealth uh, ASAP. But let it rip. All right, all right, all right. I got to work on my Matthew McConaughey impression a bit more. I think it needs to be slower with more draw. But hey, everyone, uh, thanks for hanging out tonight. 
like Coop mentioned, uh, this proposal that's been in the works for a little while and we've been discussing it, uh, you know, for a little while is moving into like the more public phase of the discussion in advance of a vote. So if you have missed any updates until this point, one of the really unique things about Spay Bay is it's a very old golf course. And as such, there's a lot of historical memorabilia and artifacts that survived its history. And ultimately, they all made their way into the hands of one of the members of Spay Bay. Uh, his name's Alfie. Over the past few months, we've been working out a proposal to basically trade a ton of his memorabilia so that we can preserve it and display it and share it with the world in exchange for making sure that he can play golf as long as he still lives in the area and wants to play golf at Spay Bay. So the nature of the proposal is basically memorabilia for membership. And uh, one of the neat twists is that it's not just going to end up displayed in the clubhouse, but we're going to work on digitizing all the memorabilia. Get it up on the blockchain, probably have some type of a mint around it so that the members of Spay Bay can actually have some digital ownership of the memorabilia as well. Maybe even figure out a way to have their name or their handle on the label underneath the actual artifact in the clubhouse. Stay tuned for more information on that. In the meantime, we're going to get the proposal out there for discussion. A lot more information is contained in there, and I think we'll have that up for the next couple of days, and we'll move to a vote next week. So I'll keep an eye out for questions. Anybody has any thoughts, comments, anything they want to toss in there? It's a wide-open conversation at this point. But I think it's a really cool thing that we're doing. Um, you know, as members of, of Link's DAO, we kind of get to set the idea around who just gets to become a member of the golf club, and this is a cool way of going about that. And I think in the long haul, we're going to do some pretty cool stuff with the artifacts and the memorabilia as well. So uh, looking forward to the next couple of days with this proposal. And uh, I'll see you all in the chats. Thanks, Coop. Thank you, Tungsten. Uh, and thanks to you, C. Bruce, Bert, and everybody who's been involved in, in getting the proposal where it is. We've had a lot of back and forth and effort on that. So uh, looking forward to hearing feedback. Um, Rusty has a strong prediction, 100% uh, yes. Love to see that right off the <laughs> bat. I think it's going to be a good one. Um, you know, we've set a good precedent here um, moving forward. So looking forward to that. Um, I'll drop a Commonwealth link on that very shortly. In the meantime, let's spin the wheel of names. While I get it pulled up, I do want to give a shout out to our player of the week. Uh, Sean, S-H-O-N, had 16 points, put up a 16-rounder, uh, and congratulations, that's our player of the week. Honorable mention, uh, we had three 15-point rounds in round five. Uh, Ryu, Stephen Nung, who's been consistently performing this season, and our very own Mr. Senior Hill. So uh, a little round of applause for that crew, uh, putting up some great numbers during round five of Link's leads. Uh, doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not top tenning. That's the hard thing about going back and doing these week by week. Cause it's like, yeah, I remember in the middle, I was actually really competitive and now <laughs> I know how it ended. <laughs> yes. Yes. So uh, seeing myself, i um, just falling down a tie for 20th earlier today, probably even lower now. It's just, it is what it is, right? We're competing, but uh, we are working on getting the bonus league launched and live. Uh, for those of you who have played more rounds, already maxed out. Maybe some redemption, consolation here for, for us, Mr. Senor, uh, as we did not perform throughout the rest of the season, but still more opportunities to compete. Uh, so we'll be dropping more info on that soon as well. Without further ado, I bring you the wheel of games. Let's spin. Oh. Almost, C. Bruce. Almost. Congratulations, Gun to National. Uh, we will get you your links points. C. Bruce, sorry. I know you were really excited about getting those points. One day. One day. <laughs> the wheel of names giveth, and the wheel of names taketh away. Well, everybody, uh, if anyone, of course, has anything else they'd like to chat about, feel free to come up on stage, ping us in the chats. Um, we're always here to help you out, but appreciate y'all tuning in this Thursday. Um, we will be back next week. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Happy Thursday. Y'all. No.